Hey Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios and today we are going to be learning how to remove the paint off of a Schleich horse or basically any sort of plastic model horse. So in one of my craft with me videos, I decided it'd be such a great idea to use spray paint on a model horse and um, I didn't really know what I was doing so I sprayed way too close and it just kind of ended up as a crazy mess. Um, well, I mean, I think this is like really cool, but the problem is there's like a bunch of bubbles and everything and it looks terrible. And like the texture, if I tried to paint on top of it would be like quite a mess. So I was like, hmm. So we need to start over. So what we're doing is not too bad, like pretty basic. So I'm using this paint stripper. I think I got this at Walmart. And this is just fast paint and varnish stripper. Um, yeah, and it's flammable. Don't use it near flame. Um, in, instead of using this, you can also use acetone. Um, you can also use um, nail polish remover, which is acetone based. It's just a lot, a lot less dilute. Um, but basically all this does the same thing and that is just remove the paint off of your pony which is our whole idea of what we are doing here. In addition to that you're going to need some sort of scrubbing devices. So I'm going to be using this lovely toothbrush um, that I don't use on my mouth and you should not use it in your mouth after you use it with this. And I'm also using this awesome scrubby sponge The I think these are also called scourge pads but it's pretty much the same thing. I'm also going to be using gloves because these chemicals are super like not great to be touching with your hands and it can really dry them out and just be really bad. So make sure to use some sort of gloves. I have used acetone without gloves. That was a big mistake. My skin got super dried out and it really hurt. So just make sure to use gloves and be 100% safe. And if you're like, I would also recommend using a mask because these fumes are questionable, possibly carcinogenic, which means they cause cancer. So yeah, be safe. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I have this lovely tray, which you should also use. Um, and I'm just gonna fill this up. I'm gonna dilute it a little bit with water and put in some paint stripper and then just let my pony sit and let the, whatever this stuff is, work its magic. Okay, so we have our tray lovely horse. I actually have more than one because I messed up on more than one horse. I can already see the paint like kind of coming off so that's a very good sign. So it says this works in 15 minutes but I just wanna make sure that it's covering the entire surface of the horse. So I'm just kind of using this toothbrush to kind of like wipe it over to make sure. And I can already actually see it starting to take off some of the paint on this horse here, which is a really good sign, but I'm just gonna let it sit so that it's like really simple to just take it and then just wash it off and it will be done. So just let these guys sit for a little bit. Okay, so they look about ready, I think, because, um, let's see, like, the paint is, like, coming off. It looks like that's pretty good, so let's see how this works. I'm gonna put on my gloves and start scrubbing off the paint. Okie dokie, let's see how this works. Make sure to, like, not let these pieces go down your sink, though, because it will definitely block your sink, so just, like pick them out before, or like empty your drain. Okay, the paint didn't fully come off of the horse. Like, for the most part, I feel like it did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub it on again to the places that it needs to come off and then just set them aside and let them sit once again, just to kind of make sure that the paint won't come off these areas because it definitely works. It's just 
the container I had them in. I don't think I'm like I don't think it got all over the areas that I need it to be. So I'm just gonna do that, and then I will let them sit again for the time that they're supposed to sit for, and do this whole thing again. put on a mask because it was smelling so bad and making me nauseous so guys like make sure you're wearing a mask when you're doing this so i'm super happy with how this worked out i think a lot of the paint really like came off and it wasn't that bad only a little bit is left on the mane and tail, which is okay. I can cover this up with primer and it won't be any problem at all. I'm really happy how it came off of the body so easily. I wasn't really expecting that, but I mean, this stuff really works. So once again, it is paint thinner and you can probably get this anywhere. Um, this is just the brand that I used, um, but I'm sure like there's a bunch of different ones that do the same thing. And just basically the takeaways are just rub it on your horse and then let it sit and then use water. Don't add water in the beginning. And also make sure to wear a mask. It basically smells like dead fish, not gonna lie. And you also need some pretty good scrubby tools to basically really get that paint off. Basically, we all make a lot of mistakes when we're customizing and it's okay if you wanna start over, don't worry about it. I've definitely improved in my customization so much and when I see some of these horses that I've messed up or just like spray paint fails, it's okay to have to remove it. Another thing I just wanna say um, is don't leave your horse in the solution too long. Their legs will get a little like bendy, especially I know in acetone. If you leave them in acetone overnight, like their legs will literally be like so make sure you don't leave them in too long. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the new products that are in the shop. I have a ton of these beautiful saddle pads that you guys can find on there that are listed and the shipping for international is only five dollars and in domestic shipping basically within the u.s is only one dollar and these guys these are super pretty saddle pads and you can just basically put a saddle on top of this and you like can use them also i have these mini schleich horses for your schleich so basically your schleich horse can have a schleich horse and I'm gonna be listing these in a few different colors. And along with this, you will also get a printable little barn that you can make yourself. And these will come in four different color variations, chestnut, black, white, and gray. So here they are, they're super duper cute and they're so tiny. So look out for these on my Etsy shop. All right, Roses, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, go check out my Etsy shop and follow me on Instagram, post there every day. And don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah.